In an asthma attack, the muscle of the air passages in the lungs go into spasm. This makes the airways narrower, making it difficult to breathe. This can be triggered by an allergy, a cold or smoke. At other times, someone may have a sudden attack with no obvious trigger. So if you think someone having an asthma attack, there are five things you may see. They have difficulty breathing or speaking. They may be wheezing. They may be coughing a lot. They may be distressed and anxious. They may be have a gray blue tint to their lips, to their earlobes, or to their nail beads. People with asthma attack usually know how to deal with their own attacks by using their reliever inhaler, usually with a blue cup, at the first sign of the attack, but if they don't, or if the attack is severe, you may need to help. So when treating someone having an asthma attack, keep calm, reassure them and advise them to use the reliever inhaler straight away. Advise them to use a spacer if they have one. Ask them to breathe slowly and deeply to help them control their breathing. Set them down in a comfortable position. If it doesn't get any better within a few minutes, it may be a severe attack. Get them to take one or two puffs of their inhaler every two minutes until they had 10 puffs. If this is their first attack, the attack is severe, they are not getting any better, they're getting worse or they becoming exhausted, call 911 for emergency help. Help them to continue use their inhaler as needed. Keep checking their breathing, pulse, and level of response. If they do become unresponsive at any time, treat a casualty who is unresponsive. So remember, reassure them. Help them to use their reliever inhaler. If the attack is severe, call 911 for emergency help and monitor the level of response. If they become unresponsive, treat as an unresponsive casualty. And that's how we help someone with an asthma attack.